Which of these women's yes, equal we rights issues are most Square important to you? you can see Comment below. Have already started to gather. Uh, they're holding a lot of signs. Can you guys just show me some of your signs? What are, what are you, uh, my body, my choice, equal rights amendments now. They, it's kind of a candlelight vigil. They've been chanting a lot of things. This is uh, Allison Ross. She's with NOW, National Organization of Women. What are some of the issues that you want to highlight most here? Well, a couple of things that are most important to me is definitely ending violence against women altogether. I'm, I'm actually a physician and I see patients all the time that are afraid to come out and talk about it and they have no place to go with their children and they're you know, being abused and, and victims and it's really, really difficult. Um, also, I want to say that abortion should be a decision between a doctor and a patient. It's not something that the government should be regulating at all. Allison, one of the many voices here. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We really appreciate it. Who else do we have here? Okay, this is Francis uh, Yasmin. How are you doing today? You're one of the community leaders out here. You're going to be actually one of the speakers here. What is your message going to be out here today? Yeah, um, uh, there's so many things we can talk about. Uh, there's so many issues related to uh, women's issues. Uh, all issues basically come down to women's issues because yeah. um, and as an intersectional feminist, I not only see the intersection of uh, issues like uh, climate change, uh, income inequality, and, and the connection between militarism uh, between these issues, but I also see the intersectionality of the struggle um, in every city in America, in every country across the globe. Uh, women everywhere are being paid less, uh, overlooked for jobs, they're being um, doing more of the, the care work in the community often and the emotional labor uh, and they're constantly getting catcalled and they're getting raped and they're getting murdered and it needs to stop. Let me ask you, what changes would you say have been the most impactful over the last few years and what kind of changes do you foresee in the next few years? What do you think things will look like a few years from now for women? Yeah. Um, so with the rise of social media and the digital ways of connecting, uh, I think there's definitely a lot more organizing that's happened across um, the political spectrum and the, these different issue areas. Uh, so that's really exciting to see. Um, but sadly, it's like the things have gotten so much worse that people are now starting to unite more. So it's kind of a curse and a blessing. Um, I mean, I think that, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anything, anything over the last couple years that you think has been really good for women? Uh, you know, I mean, I think we're in a challenging situation where Donald Trump has normalized a lot of uh, misogyny um, and both sexism and just a, um, a, a violence and a kind of way of approaching things that uh, he's normalized it in a way. And now he's got uh, a lot of followers who believe that it's okay to behave like that and to treat women uh, the way he does. And I think that's a major problem. Uh, I'm, you know, a positive step, I think, is that we have a new president. Um, I think we need a lot more, we need our first women, for female presidents, uh, uh, ideally soon. And I think that, uh, um, but overall, uh, right now, the status of women is desperate. It's uh, crisis mode every day on every street corner and, you know, all over. Uh, women are facing um, oppression. Um, okay. So yeah. we, the work continues. Francis, thank you so much for speaking with us. You guys can see a lot of opinions out here from International Women's Day. I also want to tell you today is not just to highlight women's rights, but also a day to honor those women who make our communities a better place to live. The San Diego Police Foundation did just that, honoring three female officers at a luncheon today. We spoke with one of the honorees. Uh, she says her career is her passion and always knew she wanted to be an officer. She's been with the department for nearly 30 years and loves being in the community. She's also a mother of five. I loved working with people, not being behind a desk, and just getting to help people every day. And proceeds from today's luncheon will go towards SDPD's peer mentoring program and their efforts to recruit more women to the department. That does it for us here. This event will actually go until 7, but for now we'll send it back to you in the studio. Kimberly, where I'm also wishing you happy International Women's Day. That is so thoughtful of you. Thank you, Wale. And what an incredible lady you just introduced us to. 30 years on the force with the police department. Uh, we just wish her well. That's a great, great story. Thanks, Wale.